finding the amount from interest. Find it. Use your eyes. Use your senses. Use your fifth eyeball located somewhere in your spleen. And using that, we will find the amount from interest. And here's the sort of problem you're going to see. It might say a little something like, <coughs> but if it didn't say that, it might say something completely different. And this completely different thing might say something like, I get a constant income stream of $7,000 per year at a continuous rate of 4%. Find the present value. Now, dudes, keep in your minds that we have two different kinds of present values we can find. Present value from the chapter one stuff, which was easy, and from a single initial deposit, or present value from an income stream, and that crap uses integrals. So, present value using an income stream looks like this. We're going to take the integral from zero to the total amount of time. Oh, uh, I didn't even say what the total amount of time was. Let's say find the present value uh, if I invest for 10 years. Okay, cool. That's done. And so now my integral goes from 0 to 10 because the total amount of time I invest for goes on that top value. Now the thing that goes inside the integral is this. My income stream goes first, so it's just the number 7,000. And then I multiply by e to the minus 0 0.04 because it says continuous rate of 4%. I got to have a t up in the exponent and then, of course, a dt out there. So, dudes, that's my integral. And all you got to do is plug that crap in your calculator and you get yourself a nice, juicy, tasty present value. Now, part B might say find the future value, and you're all, no problem, yo. There's a nice formula for future value, and it looks like this. Future value equals present value times e to the rm. And dudes, remember, when I write that, e to the rm is just uh, r is the interest rate, m is the total time. So if you wanted a formula for this, it would look like integral from 0 to 10, 7,000, e to the minus 0.04t dt. All of that is one number, calculated that puppy up, and then multiply it by e to the positive 0 0.04 times 10. In this case, r is 0 0.04, and m is the total amount of time you invest for, which is 10 years. So bam, dudes, we got us a present value, and we got us a future value. Now, dudes, the last part is going to say something like this. How much of the future value is from the income stream, and how much is from interest? Now, here's the thing. All of the future value comes from one of two things. Money that you have in the future is either the same money that you invested or else it's money that the bank gave you as interest. So everything is either income stream or interest, one or the other. Therefore, what we're going to do is we're going to calculate income stream. Um, we're going to calculate how much comes from income stream. Income stream. We're going to calculate how much comes from income stream, and then in order to find how much comes from interest, we're just going to subtract from the total, because everything is either income stream or interest. Now, dudes, before we do this, let's go ahead and get numbers for those guys that we looked at up top. So if we want to plug numbers in for these puppies, here's what we should get. For the first dude, we're looking at something like... um um. 57,000, uh, I'm not going to put a dollar sign, although maybe I should, 57,693.99. That's cool, I guess. And then dudes, for the future value, we're looking at something like $86,069.0690.32. Okay. These are our present values and future values. And now here's the thing. If we're trying to find how much of this money here, how much of the future value comes from the income stream, here's what we're going to do. <clears throat> we are going to repeat the calculation for how much money we get uh, based on a certain interest rate. And we're just going to use a brand new rate of zero. That's the idea. What we want to do to figure out how much money we get just from the income stream is imagine redoing all these calculations, but using zero for the interest rate. And that will tell us how much money we would have had if there was no interest at all. Now, the good news is you don't actually have to redo all your calculations. There's a simple formula that tells you how much money you get from the income stream a lot faster. And it's just this. It's the integral from zero to m 
of S of T dt. Now, dudes, this formula looks exactly like the formula for present value. It just doesn't have that e to the minus stuff. So in this particular example, here's what we're going to do. We're going to integrate from 0 to m is 10, because it's 10 years total. S of t is the income stream, and that's just the number 7,000. And that's it. We don't have any other crazy junk. It's just 7,000 dt. Now, it turns out that if you integrate this crap, it's just going to give you uh, 70,000. 70,000. And dudes, that's just because the integral of 7,000 is 7,000 t, and then you actually plug in your endpoints, and really all you're doing is taking 7,000, multiply it by 10. Um, and actually, that rule is always true as long as the thing that you see here doesn't have any t's in it. But if it does have t's in it, which sometimes will happen, then you actually have to go ahead and plug it into your calculator or do the integral by hand, even though it's going to be a bit more complicated. All right. So the point is, dudes, we use this formula to figure out how much money we get from the income stream alone, not counting interest. Now, if you want to figure out how much is from interest, it's going to be total future value minus income stream. So if you go ahead and look at our numbers, here's what we got. Our future value is 86,069.32. 86,069.32 minus the income stream, which is just a flat 70,000. And so your final answer for how much just comes from interest is going to be $16,069.32. And so one more time, dudes, there's a nice quick formula for how much money you get from income stream. It's true that in this case, it just ended up being 7,000 times 10, but you should actually remember the integral formula because there are going to be some examples where you end up having t's inside that 7,000. So definitely remember the integral formula. And then once you have that, if you're trying to figure out how much you get from the interest, it's just your actual future value number minus the income stream number that we just got. So bam, it's not so bad, dudes. I hope that makes the good sense, but now I'm dipping out.